This is the sixth of seven videos on process choice. In this video, we look at the continuous flow process. The continuous flow is the fifth of the five process types represented on the process choice spectrum. To understand a continuous flow, let's look at an oil refinery. In an oil refinery, crude oil continuously flows from a source to the finish, passing through the three major stages of separation, conversion, and treating. The flow of this oil is mostly uninterrupted over a long time horizon. For a very long time, the oil keeps flowing as it gets refined from the crude stage to a refined stage. Another example is the production of electricity. Electricity production happens continuously over a long period of time, uninterrupted, and electricity is used as it is generated. So the characteristics of continuous flow are very high volumes, long time uninterrupted flows, very low variety and highly standardized offering. The variety within a line is almost non-existent. Hardly ever will the line be used for a different item. Across different lines in the same factory, there might be some variety. The process flow is rigid. The material flow happens continuously for long time periods. And mostly, uh, there will hardly be a situation when it is make to order. In most cases, continuous flows are used for make to stock items, which rely upon demand forecasts. So the schematic for a continuous flow is like this. This is very intuitive that the machines would be uh, all in sequence and all the time the product or products which go on a line will follow the same sequence of machines or stages that are required to process that item. Examples, as we already saw, crude oil, electricity generation, uh, mineral water, the production of mineral water, production of soft drinks, their preparation, bottling, all happens in the continuous flow mode. Chemicals manufacturing, many chemicals are manufactured using the continuous flow uh, process. Uh, metro gas supply in places where gas is supplied to houses by a centralized source. This is done through continuous flow. The metro water supply that happens in many of our cities is also through a continuous flow process. Uh, the pipeline transportation of oil and gas over long distances, uh, wherever this processing happens from there, the transportation to another location happens through pipelines laid across the country. And this can also be seen as a continuous flow process. So with these examples, we close our discussion on the continuous flow. And with this, we have seen all the five types of processes on the process choice spectrum. So these five types of processes constitute much of what is studied in operations management. In the next video, we will summarize our learnings using the product process matrix. Thank you.